Hey guys, welcome to day 136 of my carnivore journey. And I hope you are having a good journey as well. I do. And i um, excited about a lot of things coming up. God, I, I just wish I could tell you guys um, what I got going. But soon, soon. And when I announce it, I'm going to need your guys' help. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'll probably do another video saying, hey, I need y'all's help. But I'm just giving you a heads up. When, whenever I announce this, right after I announce it, I'm going to need your guys' help. All right. I'm telling you, and you're going to want to help. Trust me, because you guys are passionate like I am. Some of you are. And some of you are learning. Some of you are new and you're not fully sold on carnivore. But hang in there, give it time. Things will get better. And it don't take long to get better. It really don't. I mean, you will start feeling good very quickly. There's many testimonials of people that are like four weeks in, six weeks in, that are already reversing a lot of medical issues already at that point. And like I said, I'm on day 136, and today was a good day. Um, slept decently. Um, I will say that I have a lot of stresses in my life right now, a lot. And I think that my depression is there a little bit, but I think that the carnivore has helped because I know me and I know that with the amount of stress that I'm going through right now, I probably would have shut down. Okay. And I don't mean like shut down, like, you know, no, I mean like just like, you know, I probably would have went into my cave and found some donuts or something or whatever and just said, screw it. And I'm going to like binge eat sugar and all kinds of stuff for a day or two. And then just come back and say, okay, I'm back, you know, <laughs> but I haven't done that. Um, and a lot in part, I believe, I believe it's carnivore because it's given me new feelings. My, this is the thinnest or, or most weight I've lost in a while. You guys know, I posted my 11 year history. So, as I keep rolling back the years, so to speak, with my weight, it's like really cool. And it's a whole different feeling. And I'm like satisfied on a regular basis. Like it's not hard. So like today, for example, I got hungry around. I was actually hungry pretty early today. Um, you know, e even though I had meat last night, sometimes it's just the way it is. Maybe I needed a little more fat or something. Who knows? My body was just like, hey, I'm hungry. And I'm like, okay. And it was like some mild hunger around like 1130. So I was like, ah, you know, I'm not worried about it too much. Like the mild hunger. I just, I just work through that. I don't really care. I drink some water, whatever. I don't, it don't bother me. It's like when I'm actually hungry, you like when I'm, when I'm just going, okay, I need something to eat for real. Um, and that happened, eh, you know, like 1230, like an hour later, and I had two beef hot dogs because, uh, again, I've got to I got to do some hard boiled eggs soon. But there is a reason for all this. And, and you guys will understand soon. OK, um, but in any case, uh, two hot dogs and that tied me over pretty good. And I would say about five thirty. Um, I stopped and I got a meat stick. And, uh, you know, I always say meat stick because I don't like to say the name of the product much unless I truly think it's something you guys should 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 try. But I try to find the cleanest, the one with the least amount of sugar, the one with the, made from beef, like 100 percent beef, supposedly. You know, I, I try to find the best ones I can. But I just got me like an average meat stick and um, I got a, a bag, just a regular you know, small bag, I think it's two and a half ounces, roughly, or 2.3 ounces, something like that, of pork rinds, just, just pork rinds. And that kind of also satisfied like a, a chip craving because every once in a while, you know, you might crave chips. I mean, I see uh, Doritos, <laughs> you know, some of the things that I used to worship back in the day. And I see those things on a regular basis when I go into gas stations. Like, you can't avoid the nasty foods, even if you get it out of your house, you're going to go in grocery stores, you're going to be in situations. So you have to learn how to cope with those things. So, you know, when the craving hit me and I'm like, man, 
oh, I really want a snack right now. And it was really bad. I said, you know what? I'm going to give me some pork rinds. And I got me some pork rinds. And I got me a meat stick. And I sat there and ate it. And it was good. And it satisfied everything. And then for dinner, I made my one pound burger. I'm sorry I don't have a picture tonight. I was going to take a picture. But I mean, you guys have seen what my one pound burgers look like over and over. This one looked really good, though. Like, I would have been pretty good thumbnail, I guess. Um, but in all honesty, it's like, it's not a big deal. Um, the only thing is I actually omitted the egg tonight. So um, didn't have the egg in it. So I actually had no eggs today. I do have my coffee. Remember, I'm going to I'm gonna finish out my creamer. And once I get to the end of my creamer, then I'm probably going to uh, stop coffee for a while. Like I said, I'm trying to reduce... Um, my garlic and onion and coffee, you know, those are only the last few kind of things that I brought back and they, and they haven't really been affecting me, but from what I understand, you know, according to some people and, and like Dr. Chafee and stuff, you know, um, that might even be holding me back just a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but in my burger tonight, I did add some garlic and onion powder back into it i i left out the pepper this time and i only measured out the i did salt garlic powder and onion powder and i measured the garlic and onion powder i only did a teaspoon each which i think before i might have even been doing more <laughs> you know but i did a teaspoon each and a teaspoon of salt and mix it all up by hand and um oh and i added like some butter in there i shaved like like almost like a tablespoon of butter, like little shavings. And and I hand mashed all that into the burger, made it on the grill with another uh, tablespoon of butter on top or a couple of tablespoons of butter on top, flipped it after six minutes, put another two tablespoons of butter on the top, shut the lid again, let it cook to 160 degrees, pulled it off and ate it. So it was really good, juicy, tastes like a good burger. You know, I couldn't complain. Uh, in fact, my wife stole like about four bites of it. <laughs> so I had one pound minus four bites. Um, but she thought it was really good too. So I don't know if I'm going to leave the egg out. I kind of wanted, I, I don't mind. I mean, the egg, everything tastes really good and the egg does add more nutrients. So it's a good, it's a good tag team. The bake, the, or the, the meat and the, and the, uh, egg, uh, in there, but We'll see. That's just what I did today. I've been kind of experimenting a little bit, but, but yeah, guys, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, I just, but getting back to like the cravings and, and eating, like I said, this diet, you can eat, like I said, you can't just eat what you want. I mean, you still want to be conscious of, I guess, calories in a way. I don't even like saying that, but but, you know, like, let's just say you're eating just meat. Let's say you're like, hey, I, I want to do carnivore. And I just want meat, salt, and water. You pretty much can eat whatever, how much meat you want, you know, at that point. But your body, your mind's going to tell you. Your mind's going to tell you. In fact, tonight, admittedly, when I got to the end of that burger, I was kind of glad my wife took those four bites because that last two bites was, like, getting rough on me. It was like okay. And my, my mind's like, uh, you're done. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I got down the last few bites and, um, but it was good. I'm full. I'm happy. Um, and like I said, all in all was a decent day today. Um, I had to go up some pretty big flights of stairs and not like the normal stairs, not like a normal flight up. No, this was like a commercial building where it was like super high ceilings. And then, uh, you know, God knows how thick between the second floor and then the second. It's like, like the, so the staircase to the second floor was like massive. It was like huge. But you know, the, the cool thing is, is like, I'm not out of breath, you know? So again, if you guys want to know what I eat on a daily basis, um, I just go back through my videos. I've been telling you guys. And for the longest time, I don't remember when I started, I know I didn't start it right away. But for the longest time, I have been actually putting what all I eat in the comments. Even if I forget something, usually, like if I forget to tell you guys, oh, I had a couple hot dogs for lunch. Um, if I just forget to mention it and I gloss over it, a lot of times in the in the uh, description below, I will put 
the everything I ate, you know, because I'll like when I'm typing out out, I'll be like, oh yeah, I did have the hot dogs. I didn't mention that. So because I'll like walk through everything when I'm not filming, and and uh, sometimes it's easier to remember. Uh, other than that, I think um, that's about all I had. Other than guys, be excited. I'm excited. I've been working on this project for a little bit now and I got a little more to do and then we're going to launch it. And then I want you guys to help. All right. That's all I can say. And I think, I think, I hope this becomes a thing. I really do because I wanted to help people like, and, and that's the thing. I started out just doing this vlog, you know, to hold myself accountable I never expected to be in this position of like influence, or I hate to use that word. But as long as you guys keep showing up and telling me to keep recording and telling me that I'm inspiring you guys, I'm going to keep doing my best for you guys. I am. I am. And, I, and I'm going to be real with you guys. That's the other thing. I think for me, I just want to come at you guys from a realistic standpoint. Like I, I'm just, I want to represent the everyday person, the person that's maybe not made of money, the person that, you know, I was the guy that sat back and always said, Oh no, no. Like, you know, those people, they, they have something different in their minds. And I think I've even mentioned it before in my other past videos. And like when I'd see other people succeeded other dots, I'm like, they must, they're just built differently, you know? And I was that guy. I'm like, I just can't do, you know, I can't do those things. But this is something I can finally do that actually satisfies me. I'm not even exercising on purpose. All right. Which I kept talking about those five exercises. I've been kind of doing them a little here and there every once in a while, you know, especially like when it was a Eunice getting out of me and stuff. Like when some of you get out of me, like, hey, then I might do it. But the, but in all honesty, I'm not trying to do those exercises right now simply because I'm just kind of seeing how far my body just wants to take me with just eating proper human diet. You know, I figured the exercise, like, you know, some people, they get naturally compare, compelled to exercise. But the thing is, you guys have to remember, I pretty much work three jobs. So I use a lot of energy. I use a lot of things throughout the day. I'm awake. It's hard for me to do three jobs and want to work out or go for walks or whatever. But there's going to be a situation here soon. I'm probably going to be walking my dog a lot. Um, so I'll have a different uh, routine. So, but in any case, all right, guys, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. You guys have a great evening. Day 136. Tomorrow, day one. Man, we are getting close, aren't we? Because day 150 is our 30 day. That's when I got to do measurements. And weigh in. Holy shit. So we're like 13 days away ish or whatever is coming up. So just just now getting under two weeks um to weigh in and measure. And I know that's not everything with the weight and the measurements, but it's just a metric for us to look at every 30 days, right? The true metric of carnivore is health, right? Which again, that's a whole nother subject we can talk about when it comes to carnivore and perceptions and all that but anyways all right guys uh love you guys and we will see you tomorrow bye